I've been on r slash parrots. We have a four-year-old parrotlet. He sings and speaks a lot. I mean a lot. A massive vocab, lots of phrases, some entire songs. My favourite of his is... Bad birds, bad birds. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Matt Rose here. I was off last Monday getting a new everything, really, including this new mic, which I don't think I'm really using optimally, but uh, we will improve on that together over the coming weeks. Birds! Now, we've looked at Furbies in the past, obviously, and of course the great green Duolingo owl, but never pet birds themselves. So let's see some tales of them tormenting their owners. What's the worst thing your parrot said? It called me a hoe during my birthday while everyone was singing. I tried to teach my bird to say, you're a cutie, but it resulted in him saying, you're booty. Freddy wakes me up by screaming, what are you doing? What you doing is such a delightfully passive aggressive thing to say to wake someone up. Family friends have a macaw. He's always done this from before they got him. When they answer the ringing house phone with hello, he begins screaming, oh my God, she's trying to kill me. My Quaker parrot Parrot Wackham says he's a filthy bird or dirty bird after I clean her cage, but I never taught her to say those words and also says it in a deep voice like a man. Filthy bird. Zaya's favourite phrase is, it's bedtime. Bitch. Cisco once said, Cisco, good boy, and then bit my wife. When I first got my Amazon, within a couple months, I showed him a mirror. He stopped cold, looked at it, and said, Oh, shit. We have a pineapple green cheek conua who has learned to do an evil laugh straight out of a horror movie style in the middle of the night. <laughs> Not my power, but my cousin's. He was a great big bird who loved his reflection, so sometimes he'd stare in the mirror, bob his head, and mutter, Mmm, grapple. Grapple. My aunt and uncle used to have a sulphur-crested cockatoo called Hagar. He used to chant, I have censored what Hagar says for now. Obviously, I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, this read it to drones on. Too long didn't read. They're alone in this house and bring a girl they're seeing back. We hung out for a couple hours and ended up back in my aunt and uncle's house where things progressed pretty quickly. But I'd only been with one other girl before and that hadn't gone very well, so I was pretty nervous. Anyway, we both got out of our clothes and right as I pulled my pants down and my semi-hard penis bounced out, the fucking bird right out the window starts chanting, dance, cocky, dance. She thought it was hilarious and couldn't stop laughing, but it really put me off and embarrassed me. My bird's first word was squeeze, squeeze, big boy, or sometimes just boy, boom, chicka, wah, wah. mind the gap, fuck me, fuck boy. My pet cockatiel started whistling the Imperial March randomly one day. My grey once said, I've got a gun, and never said it again. A weird phone sex operator sounding, hello. The best I can do to spell it is, scoosh, or kind of like a long goo ending in a drawn out French J. Sounds like he's communicating with Cthulhu. My wife and I have a 22 year old African grey. When we're watching a movie, she'll say, yeah. Whenever a scene ends with a human dying. Someone told me about their bird mimicking something their sons said to each other. Uh, you a saggy bullsack. Good night. <coughs> Zazu's favourite word is peekaboo. It's gotten to the point where she makes her own variations of the word and will sit and say, a peeka peeka peeka, or she will say, a peeka boo boo boo. Is there a way I can attempt to distract her from the word so she stops saying it? All day long. Sorry. You've got a Pokemon. Her new favourite phrase is, here we go. Here we go. Figgy's favourite phrase is, hello, Mr. Poopyhead. <laughs> My son caught Mangoff repeating one of his favourite words. What? 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 Redditor the little orange bird says my budgie years ago would say who's the sexy chicken? My grey, this is from the redditor love my grey, figured this whole Alexa thing pretty quickly and can't stop talking to it all day. It's Alexa this, and Alexa that, he makes it play ABBA, has almost ordered another echo, god knows what else. My power makes wet masturbation noises, that's about it. From the redditor deleted. Well yeah, apparently they really do hear everything.
Somebody get that bird a cigarette. My dad had a parrot who ended up with a perfect channel to the bathroom. He'd mimic the sound of someone taking a shit when he wanted attention. My budgies learned how to do our video doorbell alert. The dog then kicks off thinking someone's at the door. The low blood sugar alarm on my insulin pump. Little <laughs> stink. And of course I have to check and be sure. Rescue power owners. Do you ever witness them doing or saying something that reflects to their, their old home? My grey would shout in an old man's voice. Kirsten! Kirsten! I'm in the basement! A family member has a rescued African grey parrot and when the phone rings he says, Oh, it's fucking Ron again! We don't know anyone named Ron. My uncle's bird always says, Shit! Bubblegum Larry! We don't know anyone named Larry. Knew a person that rehabbed birds and she told me that after over a year it had never said anything NSFW, so she took it to an elementary class for education. It became verbally offensive and called all the small children shitheads. Lived in Hawaii. Hawaii in the early 90s and someone got a hold of one of these curse boxes. The parrot would never shut up. My buddy, who is family, are Italian as fuck. They all swore all the time. Hey, mama, there's no fucking milk. There is a fucking milk because I bought it yesterday for fuck. Can't do Italian, man. They had a power, and this power legit had an Italian accent and just swore all day long. The best I think I ever heard it say was when I'd come over and came to say hello, the power, which climbed up to eye level with me in the cage, looked right into my soul, and said, Fuck me sideways, you slut. My Quaker power is extremely talkative. Scariest, at least for my neighbour, was my Quaker screaming my son's name, followed by, Let me out of here, over and over. Funniest one was introducing my mum to her. I said, Mum, say hello to Monty. Mum said, Hi, Monty. Monty replied, I love you. Fuck you. But they're not all bad. Parents totally get empathy and sympathy. I was having a really rough day, visibly upset. I walked past my two and a half year old green cheek conure and he looked me dead in the eyes and said, You're a good Buddy! Kita, my African grey, has mangled two phrases into one. She learned I love you and would you like a cracker? And about a week ago, she suddenly came out with I love you like a cracker. When my parrot sees me cry, he asks me if I have to go poop. It's the thought that counts though, heart emoji. Aww. And let's end with this story I found floating around. Worked as an on-call computer tech for about a year and I've seen some weird shit. The weirdest one was this cool old dude who had retired and lived in a double wide trailer in a fairly nice retirement trailer park his house had one of those trains that travelled along the walls from room to room occasionally poking through walls and such the primary purpose of this train was to carry his bird, a blue macaw if I recall correctly, around the house. From his explanation the bird had some birth defects and had difficulty flying so they built the train for the bird to cruise around the house on. This may not sound all that weird to you but a little let me set the stage for you. You're a college student removing a stupid browser hijack from some old guy's computer. You're nearly done with a job when you hear a clacking sound and look up to see a toy train crossing your vision. Aboard the train is a decently sized bird that makes eye contact with you and says, Choo-choo, motherfucker.